Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Rules for Rebels here. On today's video, we're talking about Terra Peak. Uh, if you guys watch my videos regularly, you know I made a video the other week, uh, probably about a week or two ago, telling you guys about how Terra Peak had changed the competitor research tool. And while they still show us all the stats of the top 20 sellers, they don't show us the names or the usernames of the eBay sellers next to those stats. So we can see the overall stats of the top 20 sellers, but we don't necessarily know which eBay user belongs to which stat. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a workaround for how we can uh, figure that information out. Um, and if some of you guys were kind of upset about that, in my opinion, it's not really a huge loss. I mean, Terapeak has so many different tools uh, at our disposal. As you can see, they actually just recently added a new tool called Product Research 2.0. Uh, if you guys are Terapeak users, you may want to check your account and see if you have access to that. I think it's in beta testing right now, so not everybody has access to it. I will be making a video in the coming days showing you guys uh, what it is, what to expect, and how it works. Um, but for now, we're just going to click Product Research. And we're going to type in Doghouse. Doghouse. Now, normally it would take you to the first page. I'll start off here. Uh, this is kind of the high level information or the overall stats, the best days of the week that uh, items sell, the average sales price, um, what category people list in, the time of day people buy, uh, the keywords that people who are searching for dog beds are searching for, etc. What we're going to want to do is go over and click this little icon of the guy, which is the highest sellers or the top 20 sellers in any given category. So these are going to be the top 20 sellers of dog houses. Um, and like I said, you know, in the past, we would have seen the first column here would have been the eBay username. So this might have been like Liz's dog houses, and then we would see all our stats. I'm guessing because of like eBay user privacy and things like that, they took that feature away. Um, but we can still figure out who that is. I'm going to show you guys how. So we're going to go over to eBay, and we're going to search dog house. We're going to let uh, eBay pull up all the different dog houses. We're then going to go back to Terapeak, and I'm going to pick this person because they're the top seller. They've sold $12,000 or $12,126.94 worth of dog houses. Uh, their total listings are 64. Every one of their listings has sold, which gives them that 100% sell through rating, total bids, items sold, and the average sales price is $39.64. So, what we're going to do here is go down to price, and we're going to type in $39.64, $39.64, and we are going to search. Okay, now this is the product that comes up. It's the Penplax ZH4 uh, dog zipper house with standard roof in the khaki color. And as you can see here, it's $39.64. Um, so wh what does that tell us? We see that the seller of this is Ivy Dust. So we know that, you know, here Terapeak isn't showing us who it is, uh, but by some, uh, you know, a little bit of two extra steps, they're going to eBay and searching the specific price. Uh, we can find that the seller is Ivy Dust, so we know that the top seller here is Ivy Dust. Now, if we wanted to, we could go down the list and do this with everyone. I will say this isn't 100% perfect. If if there were multiple sellers selling dog houses at $39.64, this may wound, wind up pulling up like three results instead of one result. In this case, there's only one seller selling a dog house at this exact price, and we were able to figure it out. Typically, it's going to be probably three to five results at the most. So it is pretty easy to nail down who's who. Um, and in just a second, I'll show you guys how we can uh, find out more about Ivy Dust. So why would we want to know which sellers are the top 20 sellers to begin with? Now, first of all, I'm going to say, I don't think this is a huge loss, Terapeak taking away this feature. I mean, in general, when I search the top 20 sellers, what I really want to look at is, is the entire category dominated by one or two guys? Um, or are sales pretty evenly split up because that's going to tell me if it's going to be a category that I could actually break into. Um, but, you know, there are some reasons why people may want to know which particular seller is which person on the list. Uh, maybe this guy's really killing the category for dog houses and I want to know what's he doing that I'm not. Why are his dog sell houses selling and my dog houses aren't selling? Is he using better pictures? Is he selling better products? Does he have more item specifics? Are his titles a certain way? Are his keywords a certain way? So if I wanted to find that out, I'd want to know what, who this seller's name was, um, and I'd want to see what he's doing with his listing. Another reason I may want to uh, know who this seller is, let's say, for example, I sell dog houses, but I'm like, you know, I'd like some other products to sell. Like, what else could I sell related to dog houses? If I'm selling dog houses, I could also sell dog house heaters. I could sell dog house beds that fit inside the dog house. I could sell cleaning supplies to clean your dog house. Uh, but maybe I don't know what I want to sell. So I say, okay, I'm going to go see, I'm going to go find this guy 
and see what else he's selling. So uh, like I said, we figured out that it's Ivy Dust here. So we could just click uh, her store and, and see what's in her thing. Uh, I'm gonna go to the advanced search here. I'm gonna search by seller. I'm gonna click in Ivy Dust. And here we can see everything that Ivy Dust is selling. So it doesn't look like she's a, a specialty um, doghouse store. You know, she's selling socks. She's one of these people who's selling everything. She's selling socks, bracelets, lingerie, costumes, gloves, etc. So what that tells me is she probably doesn't have a super strong sales rank in the doghouse category. And what I mean by that is if everything in her store were dog leashes, dog bowls, etc. She's selling a lot of stuff in the pet category or in the dog category, and that's going to give her higher sales rank. Because she's selling all different types of stuff, she's not a specialty store focusing on dog stuff. So I feel like it would probably be pretty easy to overtake her. If I wanted to outrank her for this particular dog bed, okay guys, so like I was saying, if I wanted to try to try to out overtake her in search ranking or whatever for dog beds, if I was wanting to sell dog beds, this to me is a good sign. I would be a little bit more concerned like, oh, can I sell more than this lady? If she were selling all dog stuff because that selling all stuff in one category typically gives you more more power, more people, people told me not to say in the last video, don't say Google juice or eBay juice, but again, for lack of a better word, it gives her more SEO juice, whatever, in a dog category by selling all dog stuff. Because she's selling lotion and bracelets and jewelry boxes and gloves and everything else, she's not a powerhouse or so she's not dominant in the pet category. Uh, so I feel like it'd, it'd be pretty easy to overtake her, outrank her, sell more dog houses than her, et cetera. So, um, yeah, that's really kind of what I wanted to show you guys. So again, just to recap, um, Terrapeak no longer is going to show you the username, but by searching an item, finding the average sales price, going over to eBay and pulling a search um, on that specific sales price, uh, we're typically able to find the seller and match the seller up to the Terrapeak list of top 20 sellers. Now, like I said, this isn't 100% perfect. Uh, sometimes you may be given more than one result, uh, but in general, this is gonna work pretty good. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, next week, I have a video coming out talking about product research 2.0, which Terrapeak is rolling out. Uh, really excited about that. If you guys wanna give Terrapeak a try, uh, again, I will link to it in the description box below. Uh, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on another video.